everybody. Good morning. Amanda Hartman, speech pathologist here with assistive wear and it's seven o'clock. Well, it's seven o'clock here in the morning in Australia. What time, what time is it for you? Thank you very much for joining us. As you know, I've got my other, my second iPad all set up here. So I'm just going to check that we are live so I can watch your comments as they come in today. Good morning, I no, hope you're doing well. Uh, looks like we are live. Let's see who's joining us today. Okie dokie, where's my comments on? Oh, there's already lots of you out there. Say good morning to me, so I, I know you're there. So we're gonna read The Very Hungry Caterpillar today, which is, oh, I have something to say. I like this book. And I need, oh, I need an extra describing word. I need an extra describing word. This is one of my favorite books. What about you guys? Who's out there today? Where are you all coming from? You know, Assisted Wear is actually a company based in the Netherlands, but our team members are all over the world. So I'm in Australia and, you know, Pam is in the US, she's joining us today, and Barbara is up late in Amsterdam joining us today. So who's out there? Somebody leave me a comment. Did you know you can write a comment on the video as you're watching it? Hi Janice and Ian, nice to see you. So we're kind of all over the world coming into you today. So please drop me a comment. And good morning, Villa Mine. Uh, good evening. You're up late too. <laughs> All right, so can we check the schedule for today to see what we're going to be doing together? So I'm going to click more and I've got my schedule written out. So welcome to Miss Amanda's reading session. To our reading session. And today we're going to book. start by reading the book and then we're going to. Write a shopping list. Hmm, I need to write a shopping list today and you guys. You guys, you have to help me. Oh, hi Sue from Newcastle in the UK. You're up late too. <laughs> Welcome. And then lastly today. Make fruit salad. We're gonna make some fruit salad. Why not, I say. Okay, so I have a question. I have a question. Have you, have you, oh, I need an action word. Have you read this book before? Maybe. Let's get into it. And it's called, oh, actually, I have to remind you of something. Today, while I'm reading the book, I want you to notice how I use wait time. Wait time is really, really important for AAC users and learners because they need time to think about um, having a chance to say something can answer your questions or make a comment about what they're saying, uh, seeing and uh, thinking. So during re when you're reading books and doing activities, it's good to do your modeling and then pause and allow wait time. And you wait openly, inviting them to take up their turn. So I'm gonna do some wait time today to give you guys a chance to write some comments to answer my questions in the comment field on our video, okay? So watch how I use wait time. So let's get started today. Oh, do remember that in every session, we always, questions. Have, we always have time for questions at the end. You can also answer questions during the video and Pam and uh, Barbara are online there to answer them for you. So let's see today's book. If you've just joined, my name's Amanda Hartman and today we're reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, that's got some good describing words in it, doesn't it? It describes the caterpillar. It says he's hungry. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Oh, I know. I think that he wants, wants to, to eat. eat. Oh, that was a big long sentence I wrote. I think he wants to eat. I think he wants to eat. So let's see, that's my guess based on the word hungry. Okay, so let's see. In the light of the moon, oh, where's the moon? There it is. In the light of the moon, what does it say? A little egg lay on a leaf. There it is. Let's see what happens. 
On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. The sun came up. And pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. They described the caterpillar for us. They said he was little. little. They said he's a little caterpillar and feeling words. They said he's very, he's very hungry. hungry. Remember, I think that means that he wants yeah. to eat. Okay. Oh, here's the first page. I already saved this sentence. Activities. Let me go to my book folder that I made. On Monday he ate one apple. He ate one apple. But remember... But he was still hungry. He was still hungry. Ah, I know what that means. He wants Want to, to eat, eat more. More. He wants to eat more. Urgh, there's my hungry caterpillar. Aha. Uh -huh. On Tuesday, he ate through two pairs. So he, he eats. Eat. I've got some numbers here. Two. Two pairs. It looks like here... Maybe I should go to my fruit page and probably quote a go up so I have all my fruit words to model. Food, more, fruit. Ah, look, yes, I've got it. He, he eats the pear. Nom, 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 There he is. Okay. I wonder, I wonder, what's your favourite fruit? Hmm, I should have... Where is it? I'm asking a question. What fruit do you like? Like, like, like. Oh, pause wait time. Your time to give me an answer, everybody. What's your favourite fruit? Maybe my internet is slow today. Oh, strawberries. I got somebody. <laughs> Give me an answer of somebody out there. <laughs> I don't understand yours, Deanna. Is that a different... A, I don't know what that fruit is. My friend Deanna gave me. <laughs> ah, got it. Strawberries in, in Spanish. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's see what he did next. On Wednesday, he ate... Three plums. So he ate the pear. He, he, if I hold down eat, I can get the past tense eight. eight. He ate. Oh, plums is not there. I need to go to my next page. Plums. Plum. He ate plum. He ate plums. <gasps> but remember, he was still hungry. He was still hungry. He Milk. wants to Tree. eat, eat some, some more. more. Let's tweet some more. Okay. On Thursday, he ate through, oh, there they are, Deanna and Villamine's favourite, strawberries. Yum. <gasps> Food. More. Where's my fruit? He, he eats, eats strawberries. strawberries. <gasps> he eats strawberry. Okay. Now, this time, maybe we can write a longer sentence just to practice. So this time I'm going to write a longer sentence. I'm going to use my time um, words on days of the week. Or what does it say? <gasps> Friday. Here's Friday. Friday. On Friday, he, he eats. Oopsie, that was a mistake. We use the past tense. Eight. He ate through. What did he eat through? <gasps> Five. Five. Food. More fruits. Hold it down. Oranges. He ate through. On Friday he ate five oranges. Five oranges. But he was still hungry. Oh, hey look, you know what? We wrote a really nice sentence then. Maybe we should save it. So when I've got the sentence up there, I'm going to go to my Very Hungry Caterpillar page and I'm going to click my bottom tools menu and I'm going to say add. And that will add my sentence onto my book page. All right, let me take a photo. Take a picture of those five oranges in the book. Click. There they are. Use the photo. 
and done. Now, oh look. On Friday he ate five oranges. No, I've got the sentence that we wrote together so I can retell the story later. Cool, all right. Okay, uh-oh. Oh, do you know what happens next? Do you know what, what? He, he eats eat. next? Whoa, junk food, lots of food that is bad. kind of bad for him. Oh no, oh no, okay, all right. What are some of the foods that you see that he eats? You guys let me know. I've got some of them here. And here's my hungry caterpillar. He wants eat. to eat, eat, eat. He wants to eat some ice cream. <gasps> oh, he's going to eat, eat all the ice cream. <gasps> what else? What other junk food does he eat on Saturday? Yep, ice cream. Yum. What else? Chocolate cake. I don't have chocolate cake, but I do have some cake. He likes to eat, eat. He likes to eat cake. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Oh, he eats so much junk food on this day. What else? Anybody else got an idea? What could he eat? Oh, what, what will he eat? eat? What about pizza? <laughs> he likes to eat, eat. He likes to eat pizza. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, some pie. Here's some pie. He likes to eat. He likes to eat, eat pie. Yum, 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 yum. Whoa. And a lollipop. I don't have a lollipop. What about a donut? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. He's eating eat. all oh. the food, but I think some of this eating eat. is going to be bad for him. <gasps> Something's wrong. Are you okay? Oh, it says that night he had a stomach ache. <gasps> Something's wrong. Feelings. He feels sick. sick. He had more. Mm. He had more and more bad food. Okay. But let's see what happens. Oh, the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. Nom, nom, nom. He likes to eat. He likes to eat leaves. Ah, that is good. <coughs> and now he felt better. Oh, I can hold that down actually and say better. better. He feels better. And look. <gasps> but now he was not. Not. He was not hungry, hungry anymore. Oh, look at him. And he is, describing word, not, not little, little anymore. Now he is big. a big caterpillar. And look, we have to put him into the cocoon. Okay, he's going to, let's see, go, go in, in to his cocoon. Okay, here he is. He's going to go into his cocoon. Oh, there he is. Now, it says he built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside for two weeks. Well, I wonder, does anybody know what's going to happen to the caterpillar while he's in the cocoon? He's in the cocoon, he's in the cocoon. Okay, let's see what might happen. He's all wrapped up in the cocoon. <laughs> oh, I'm using wait time for you to guess. You guys know. <laughs> I think that maybe when he goes Go in. into his cocoon, that something different. different adds. And maybe we need an action word. Remember that word? Change. I think he's going to change, change. into something describing word to something mm. new. <laughs> Gemma guessed. Okay. So, let's see. Shall we bring him out of the cocoon now? <gasps> Woo! The caterpillar changed into a beautiful butterfly. Let's see what it looks like in the book, too. Ooh, there we go. And here's my butterfly that came out of my cocoon. There he is. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, butterfly, you can stay there. And, oh, 
look at that. Our book is finished. Hmm, I wonder, can you guys all help me? Remember, when we read a book together, we like to give it a star rating to say what we think. Hmm, how many stars would you give the book The Very Hungry Caterpillar today? I'm going to give it five stars. I uh, really liked it. I'm going to give it five stars. I really liked it. Okay, well, we have, let's check our schedule. We have read the book. Oh, it's time to write a shopping list. All that talk about food in the Very Hungry Caterpillar made me think I need, hmm, I need to go <laughs> shopping and to get some get. things. So let's see, we've got lots of five stars. I know my butterfly, my caterpillar puppet that turns from a caterpillar into a butterfly is pretty cool, isn't it? I've had that for years. Lots of five star ratings for the hungry caterpillar today. Okay, well let's get ready. I hope you guys have your, have your pen and paper and you have your AAC. And maybe if you want to spell some words, you can use your alphabet. But I'd love to know, hmm, do you have any ideas about what we should go, what do we need to go and buy shopping today? It's fun to write shopping lists with our kids about the things that we need to go and buy shopping. So today's shopping list, we're going to go shopping. So let me write. I'm going to write on here. Here's our shopping list. Lists are great for early writers, for all of us actually. We all need lists. Okay, so I'm going to go first. I need, need, I need to get, get, I'm going to go to my food page, I need to get some, Avery. I need to get some avos, some avocados, ah, avocados, oh, I can hear the ah sound, the letter A, avos, I definitely need avocados on my shopping list today, what else could we buy, where are your comments? Anyone got an idea? Oh, Chloe is with us and she's using her AAC. Welcome, Chloe. Thank you. Have you got anything that we can, that we can put um, on our shopping list today? What do we need to go, go and get. get at the shops? Ah, <laughs> my friend, she said that she needs need to get, get food more vegetables. She needs to get some Carrot. carrots. And I know why. That's because things, animals, her, where is it? Horse. Her horse. Like. Her horse likes eat. to eat carrots. Okay. C carrots. C carrots. When I say the carrots, I can hear the c sound. That's the letter C. Carrots. Now, you guys have thought of lots of things now. We need bananas, bananas. What a healthy list so far. Oh, strawberries, like the caterpillar. He ate strawberries in the book. Oh, you know what I can do? I'm going to check the book for how to spell that word. Do, 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 do. Let me have a look. Oh, yep, I found strawberries. Let me look in the text. Oh, strawberries, it's that long word. Oh, that's a good way to figure out how to spell something. Strawberries. What else have we got? Oh, pizza. Yes. I like. I like pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. It's a lots of lots of fun. I don't know why I sang that. <laughs> Angie needs some new batteries and a book and ice cream. <laughs> And chocolate cake and pears and apples. Those were also fruits in our story. Pears and what did you say? Apples. Ah, ah. Oh, hey, look, like a avocado. I heard the same sound at the beginning. I think I need the letter A. I think we need to get, get. food more fruit. We need some. Apple. Apple. I need to get, uh -oh. get carrots. Most likely, I like get apple. Uh oh. 
I had lots up in my message window and when it read it aloud, it did not make a sentence. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> oh, now, I do need to just stop for a second. <laughs> Ian wants some garlic. <laughs> okay, I've got to put garlic on the list for Ian. I like garlic too, actually. Garlic. Thank you. All right, I've got my shopping list. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your help doing that writing today. I just need to go back here and I need to check the time. The time is 7.20 a.m. 7.20 a.m. So we've still got time. We've still got time to make... Make fruit salad. To make a quick fruit salad. All that fruit we talked about today made me think about making fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so here I've got, hmm, I wonder, you guys have already listed lots of fruit today that we could put into the fruit salad. So let's see if I've got any of those things. Chloe said apples. Yes, I have an apple. Okay, so first I need to get, get my knife, get my chopping board. Move out of the way. Too many busy things here. Okay, I'm going to cut fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Oh, we are Make. making fruit salad. Woo! Okay, and I am going to put, put in. I'm going to put in some apple. What else? I do not have any strawberries. Hmm, sad. I do not Milk. have strawberries <sighs> for my fruit salad. Um, maybe more fruit. Maybe, oh, banana. banana. Yep, I've got banana. Oh, look what I need to do. I need to go. I need to take, Oof. take off the skin. Oh, there we go. There's my banana. Let's cut. Can you do it? Do, do the cutting. And then we can, where is it? Put in. Put it in the salad. Very good. What else? Oh, I've also got an, a food. Where am I? I've also got an orange. So let's take off all the skin. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy fruit salad. Okay. There you go. Oh, cut the orange. Cut. Cut. There we go. And now I'm going to put it in. in. Okay. <laughs> Better stir it. Better eat it. Mmm, yummy fruit salad. <laughs> oh, that was a silly activity. I've got these plastic fruit. It would have been fun with real fruit, right? But anyway. All right then. Well, I think that we have finished our, our most of our activities today. So we'll check our schedule. We read the book. We did the shopping list. And we made some fruit salad. What's something that you like to make? Hmm. Somebody talked about making spaghetti. What? What do you, you like? like to make. make. I wonder. Well, somebody said they wanted to make spaghetti and I made fruit salad and maybe you'll think of some other things that you can make and practice modeling your AAC while you're making and cooking together. So today's, uh, if you, I hope, uh, we've just got a few people that may be joining us. We've just finished reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. We're nearly at the end of our video for today. Now this video we do, we'll stay on the Assistive Wear Facebook page. So you can re-watch it at any time. Some people wanting to make pesto. Someone wants to make a sandwich. <laughs> Smoothies. You guys have so many ideas of things you can make together. Um, fantastic. Well, we like, like to make, make things together and make a burger. 
Miss Chris, thank you very much. So yes, if you are just joining in, um, we're finishing up our Facebook Live, but as I said, you can watch the video. We also, within a few days, often post the video on, well, we, we do post the video onto our YouTube channel as well. So that if people wanna re-watch the videos and don't have access to, to um, um, Facebook. <laughs> okay, someone's gonna make cake. You guys had so many good ideas today of things that you like to make. <laughs> so, it is time, let's check, just remember on our schedule, does anybody questions. have any questions for myself or the team today? Because we always allow a bit of time at the end for any questions. Thank you, Gemma. I'm glad that you had some found some good ideas today. <laughs> so any last minute questions out there? I'm gonna give you a bit of pause and wait time as discussed today. Give you a chance to write any of your questions. Thanks, Deanna, for your feedback. I wonder, um, uh, just well, well, if anybody doesn't have a question yet, doesn't look like there's a question, I just wanted to just lastly uh, mention our AAC training series. So a sister was looking at hosting some webinars. So we've, we've done a couple already. And um, if you're interested and need more information, then um, please uh, just let us know and we can send you more information about the details of our upcoming events. <laughs> oh yes, you are a bit late to the party, Miss Rachel. That's okay. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing all of our of our videos and stuff. Yeah, and it's great that we've got these communication boards and they're now in Spanish and French as well as English and hopefully Dutch soon. So uh, we are getting there on that. It will happen. And um, Gina, now Gina just asked about how I wrote the book and took a picture of the story. I actually made a YouTube video about that. So maybe Pam, can you share the link to um, Gina um, and she can watch the YouTube video about how I add um, to retell the story, the retelling stories one. And um, Yes, so Angie just asked about on my printed display, these are our quick communication boards. Mine does say finished. Um, I'm, we made a decision, sometimes people use the word all done, but finished, we chose the word finished, but um, you might use the word all done. If you prefer to the word all done, then you might have to write all done next to it with a permanent marker. That was a tricky decision because there's a lot of people that use the word finished rather than all done. It's a little bit different for everyone. And now let's just see. Chris asked, is the call word event closed or full? No. So we're doing a, a webinar on call word teaching strategies. And um, no, that is not closed. The webinar, I think we're just finalizing the dates for when it would be. It's a bit tricky with all our time zones that we're going across and the event is not full nor is it closed. So you should still be able to register for that. So um, the links, Pam just put up the links to any of the webinars. So thank you very much. And thank you for your questions and participating with me today and answering all of my questions when I waited and gave you enough time. We really appreciate you joining us every week and we'll be back again next week. So another Facebook Live and we're gonna do a fairy tale next week, which I'm sure you'll all enjoy as well. So thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you soon. Bye, goodbye.